All right, so you've been using WAMP on your PC to do your WordPress uh, dev work locally. You're moving over to Mac and there is no WAMP on the Mac. So we need to find another solution. The solution I went for was AMPS. I read a lot of good reviews. I'll leave links to the reviews in the video description. I'm gonna walk you through this step by step. But if you've already installed AMPS on your Mac, you've got your project in there, you've exported the database, but you're getting a database error, you need to locate the WP config file and make a small change. I've left instructions below in the video description. I'm gonna walk you through this step by step anyhow. So we're going to start on the PC because we want to copy our project and we want to export the database first. We want to have those files on an external hard drive, on an SD card or on Dropbox, somewhere where we can easily upload it to our Mac. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to locate the project from within WAMP in the www folder, copy the project folder. The next thing we're gonna do is locate the database. We need to get inside PHP MyAdmin, locate the project, and from the toolbar, we're gonna to click export. We're not gonna do anything fancy. We're gonna leave it on the default setting, quick, format, SQL, click on go. And that's going to download the database, locate it, copy it. And now let's go on to the Mac where we're going to install AMPS and we're going to get our project up and running. Okay, so over to the Mac. First thing we're going to do is install AMPS. Head over to amps.com and locate the downloads section and you can download the version for Mac from there. Install that into your applications folder. Make sure that you've uploaded your WordPress project folder and the database file. Put it somewhere where you can easily retrieve it on your desktop, for example. Fire up AMPS once it's installed. And the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is start up Apache and MySQL. It's gonna prompt you for your password. And that's Apache started and do the same for MySQL. Okay, and that's started. So then we're gonna head over to home. And from inside here, we're looking for PHP MyAdmin under database tools. And now we're just gonna simply import the database. Click import, choose file, locate it wherever you placed it. I put mine on my desktop and okay so that's in place again we're not doing anything fancy we're going to leave it on the default settings and click go okay all done and you should see it appear here on the left hand side the next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy our wordpress project folder and then we're going to paste that inside of the apps www folder and that should be under applications locate the amps folder and inside there you should have www and inside there you're going to paste your wordpress project folder okay so once that's in there let's try and locate that now from localhost the same way that we would if we were on our PC. Okay, and look what's happened. We've got error establishing a database connection. So to solve this, we need to edit the WP config file. So we're gonna locate the file. So let's head over to Finder. And so we've just pasted it inside here. We're gonna open it up. And then we're gonna open up uh, WP config, open that into your favorite text editor. I've already 
got Sublime Text loaded up here. So if you notice, under my SQL database password for WAMP, WAMP didn't need a database password. Now, I don't know what your specific setup was like, but I've been able to get this working by putting in my SQL. That's the default password for AMPS. So we're going to put that in there. I'm going to save that. Command S. Okay, now let's see if we can reach this project. And there we have it. I hope that's worked for you. Take it easy, guys. Peace.